Welcome, and today we are going to go through how George L. cables are put together. So let's get right to it. First thing I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is put some glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So first thing we do is I'm gonna cut off, you can see here, close up, cut it off. There it goes flying. And I got these dikes here that kind of cut things. So I want to cut those off. So what's great about these uh, George L cables is, especially like these ends, all, all of them they're solderless, which is great. So what we can do here is um, first we'll put this on here and we'll test these out once I get them in there. All right, so this is really simple. So you just kind of pop it in. I'll do the other side of that. You pop it in and you, and you screw it on tight like this. Come on. And you screw it on. Let's see if I get it. Threaded, screwed in, threaded right. I love these George L cables. The great thing about the George L cables is you can custom size them to whatever you like. And so I'll show you a picture of my pedal board that I created with these George L cables and these ends here. So, all right, so we got that one on, looks like that. And and then let's do the other end. So I'm gonna do this one up close. All right, so we're going like this. Take this out. And then what I tend to do is keep this pretty flat, but um, I know there's other ways of doing it. Let's see, I'm gonna try to keep this so it's kind of the same angle. So let's do that, bend it over, and screw that in. These are brand new, I just got them, so, let's see, brand speaking. All right, so there is that end. I'll test that in one moment. But next, I wanna show you the other way. The other way um, is a screw-on. So I just, I just took this off my cable, and it was just great, you can make it any length you want. You just buy the ends, and you could have angled ends, so I made a kind of patch cable here, or you could have a long one, which is what this cable is. And, um, I mean, they are great cables. If you're just playing around at home, or I use, even use them on gigs, and I haven't had any issues. So the great thing is that if they do kind of get broken or something like that, then you just cut it and fix it. So let me just go through this one here. So. I'm gonna cut this here. You can kind of see the mark from the last. Fly. And then I'm gonna put this in here like this. And you can see, let me get my tool out. You can see the screw here. And it's a flat head, so I may not have the right size, but this is is doing all right come on you can do it all right so there we go what's great about these cables is you got different ends so i i get this out of the way i purchased the long one which is great for a stratocaster which is i want to play on the other end doesn't really matter because i'm not going to plug it into um like in my stratocaster so my stratocaster you got this plug here, and you want this end on it so you can easier to pull out. Because if you put this one in, I'll show you, it's a little tighter and small. The jack on this one is pretty easy to kind of get in and out. So, but if you had a tighter jack, then you're gonna have a challenge. So anyhow, so 
Plug that in. All right, so we got our cable here. I'm gonna put some of these ends on there. So let's do that right now. A couple of those guys here. So these work great. And they keep your things from moving around. And all right, so there's one. Okay, we got our ends on. Check that out. Check out our ends. Okay, so let's connect this guys here. So I'm getting my fuzz out and the purple tie list. And let's connect our cables. Let's go out and go in here. And this is gonna go. best to you and please subscribe and you'll get weekly lessons on um, how to do George L cables or pedal reviews or I am a guitar instructor so I will be doing some lessons there too so please subscribe thank you very much have a great awesome day